Yo, this is how you make fish cake soup. Ooh. Yo, last week we made some tteokbokki. Oof. And I was thinking like, yo, what goes well with tteokbokki? I guess they're right, fish cake soup. So we decided to make some fish cake soup today. Let's go. All right, so first thing first, for the stock, this needs some radish, kelp, aka tashima, tashida, tashima, and some dried ancho. So here's the radish. Cut it into big sizes like that. Or we'll have it on big chunks like this, you know what I mean? So I don't really have a recipe for this. I'm just freestyling it out because it doesn't make a huge difference if you put a little bit more radish in it, less radish in it, and all that. Boom. Throw some water in there. Boom. I'll we'll make the stock. Throw the tashima right in. Boom. So much flavor is gonna come from this right here, you know? It actually gets all like sticky yicky from this, but just watch. But again, if you don't want to go through cutting a radish, getting the kelp, and gutting out all the dry anchovy, just try one of these. This is pre-made stock. You could just buy it at one of the Korean markets instead of chopping everything up, you know? All right, so bring the stock to boil. Some fish sauce. <laughs> And just a little bit of black pepper and some garlic and for that extra flavor we're gonna be throwing some hondashi in there um, and if you really wanted to taste like the Korean street food you could throw some MSG in there but I don't really usually use MSG on my fish kit and most importantly don't forget to salt your taste what we want to do is we want to bring it to boil and simmer it down till the radish is almost mushy. Because when the radish is almost mushy, that's where all the flavor comes from. Kelp, look at these Jones, they blew up. Ooh, that's hot. So you don't want too much soy sauce in it because look at the color of the broth. You want it to be lightly, lightly, what do you say, brown? but you don't want it to be dark black. You know what I mean? So what you want to do is you want to, you definitely want to season it with salt more than soy sauce. Cause more soy sauce there is, it's going to look like a black soup. So, so far I just eyed everything out and the flavor is already flavorful from the stock. Hondashi, soy sauce and all that good stuff. And don't forget, the fish cake actually makes the broth so much better as well too. All the flavor that comes from the fish makes the broth even better than what it is right now. So if you're tasting it right now and you're like, oh, it's there, it's completely not there yet. Mm, don't worry, because it's gonna get better. All right, so we're gonna pop these open. So there's two different ways to go about it, right? So right now, I usually don't buy these stuff, but I saw the... So what this basically is, is it's this right here. It's like, it's these fish cakes. And what they do is, you know, you just fold it in half and then you get a skewer and then you just kind of put it in like that. Do you know what I mean? But I saw these pre-made fish cake with all different types of fish cake in it. So I said, you know what? I ain't trying to do all that this time, you know? So fish cake is one of those dish that brings me back to my childhood, you know? Because I remember when I was young, when my uncles and uncles used to come over to visit us, um, you know, like they would always try to buy me something that I love, like cream fried chicken, especially I used to love tteokbokki growing up, right? And then when they would take me to go eat some tteokbokki, you know, the lady at the tteokbokki stand would give this as service, you know? She definitely wouldn't give this for service, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But she'll give that little broth and she'll just pass it to you to drink. And I remember just being freezing cold, just like holding this and it's like warming my cold little fingers and just staying warm drinking this, you know? Oof. And sometimes food is not all about like just how it tastes, but it's the memories that you have. And it, it, it makes me miss Korea, definitely make me miss my aunts and uncles childhood, you 
Much as the oh, much as the fish cake though, I really like this broth right here. You know. Oh. This is so good. Yeah. Perfect for like day today. Uh huh. Yeah, this is like. They're in Korea. Mm -hmm. They're like a public like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stalls and stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is what it reminds me of. Nice. And like, did you know, and like and behind like every like elementary, middle school, and high school, mm -hmm. they have like they they have like a school supply market mm -hmm. that sell this fish cakes and tteokbokki. Nice. Yeah, that, that used to be like fifty cents, thirty cents. Oh, that's super cheap. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's hot. Get no, no, no. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Yeah. You used to work for the government or something. Mm. How do you guys do this? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah, oh my god. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it just went down the wrong too. <laughs> A little bit both. <laughs> <laughs> so next thing up, I'll actually be a be on a lookout for next week. I'll actually make um a recipe with using this sauce, you know? Uh, maybe I'll just make the jalapeno mm -hmm. you know, and the chenna, you know? Yeah. yeah. Odeng is also good for soju and chasing the soju out. Because mm -hmm. some people don't like the taste of the soju on the first go. So you take the shot first and then you chase it with the broth. Nothing better than that, in my opinion. Hey. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> Something about Odenku, it just tastes so much better after you have a shot of soju. Mm. 